So now that we're past the part where we were creating an app without code, the next thing that we're going to do is we're actually going to add some code to it. And this is going to come in the form of increased functionality. And so the only reason we're adding code to this is to make the experience more interactive. Because right now we're able to add stuff to uh, the real world with AR. But now the next step is to essentially gamify it. And so one thing that I will do is we're going to look at our app and we're going to right click. We're going to go to UI. We're going to go to Canvas. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to go to, uh, we're going to right click on Canvas. We're going to go to UI. We're going to add a panel. And so when we double click the Canvas, it takes us out to this big screen. So all this screen is is just mimicking our the size of our screen for our uh, mobile device. And so anything that we change here is going to be overlaid here. And so with that, we will go through and we'll click panel. And in the panel, we're just going to make this transparent. And so we will go to panel, we'll go to color, we'll click color, and this A right here, this is alpha. So alphas are our opacity. And so if we go to the right to 255, it's going to make it completely white. If we go and turn it to the left and make it zero, then it's going to be completely transparent. Um, and that is exactly what we want. So we want to make it completely transparent. Actually, no, we'll actually make this a uh, completely white just to, just to allow us to hide some things. And so from there, we will go up, we will change the rec transform of our panel. So with the rec transform of our panel, we'll just select it. And then from there, we're going to click shift and we're going to click alt. And by clicking shift and alt, we can have it stretched all the way to the bottom right. So we're going to click this uh, hold to the bottom and have it stretched from side to side, just like that, just like that anchor. And so from there, all we have to do is resize it. And so we'll resize it by going to our rec tool right here. We'll click that. And you'll notice how it adds these four dots to the transform tool or to our panel. So we'll actually just find where these arrows appear. And we're just going to drag this down like that. So I would say I would say about 270. Let's say about 270. Just like that. So we have our panel. Our panel is there. And then we have or we have our canvas. Our canvas is our main screen. And then we have our panel. And so we'll actually just save that there. So within the panel, we want to have some sliders. And those sliders allow us to rotate our our model and so we'll right click we'll go to UI we'll go to slider and we'll actually zoom into that slider by double clicking we'll zoom out a little bit and it's it's really small so in order to make it larger we'll go to the scale tool which is at the top we'll click that and we'll just scale this up and you can use cross-reference uh, how this looks from this as well. And so we'll just scale it up. And so one thing we want to do is we want to make sure that it's aligned right. So now that we have our a, a decent size, we want to make sure that's aligned right. So the, so the goal is for us to have uh, one slider on the left side and another slider on the right side. And so in order to do that, we will go to uh, the rec tool or rec transform for the slider. So not the panel, but the slider. So we'll click the slider. We'll click the rec tool panel. We'll go to shift and we'll have alt and we'll just have this be rec tooled in the center. So we want our anchor in the center for that. And this is just going to make it easy for us to uh, add extra components because it's going to be relative to the center of the panel and not anything else on the screen. 
And so it makes it easy for us because as long as the panel is where it needs to be, all the other things will be where they need to be on the panel. And so from there, we will take our uh, move tool and we will just use that to move this to the right. And we'll actually move it up a little bit. So it gives us a little bit of room to add a, some text. And so from there, we'll go to, we'll click slider, we'll right click it. And we are going to go to UI and we're going to go to text. And now that we have our text, we have our text right here. We're going to move that text down and to the center a little bit, just like that. And so with it, we'll actually take, we'll actually take the rec tool and we will just make the, make the slider text it's a little smaller, more manageable. And then as you click the text, you go over and we'll change the alignment to center and we'll change the uh, alignment to center as well for the line width. And we'll change it from new text to, and we'll change it from new text to scale, just like that. And looking at it, I think we can raise it up just a, a tad bit higher, just like that. So now that we have that, we'll rename the slider uh, scale slider. And we have our slider set up. So the next thing we do is we could just duplicate that. So we'll go to right click, duplicate, and we will just move that all to the left. And because we have it center aligned, these both are going to be at the same distance. And if the screen scales or anything, it will not mess up the, the way it looks. And so with this, we'll change this to rotate. And then we'll change the name to rotate. So now we have our scale slider and we have our rotate slider, just like that. If you want to add some like other UI bells and whistles, you can, but, uh, but this is really the, the basic functions that we need is to make it go bigger and smaller and then to rotate. So we'll go to save and we'll go to save project. So one thing that you want to do is when we have our canvas, you want to make sure that it says constant instead of it saying a uh, canvas scalar constant pixels you want to make sure it says scale with screen size so by scaling with screen size it allows it to adapt to the screen size that we have and make those references and so ours is 1920 by 1080 and so we have our screen size already set up so as long as you match it to the width and the height you have everything, everything should be good. So you want to make sure that you do that. Uh, Cause if you don't, then depending on the screen size that you have uh, for your phone, which will probably not be 1080 or 1920 by 1080, it will make things just look very weird. And we don't want that. And so again, scale with screen size, uh, match the resolution to the resolution you have in your game view. If the game view is 720 by 1280, Make sure to match it with that. So these two should be the same. And then you want to make sure to either have the match to be uh, 50, so 0.5, or you could do it to 1. I suppose I like to do 0.5 for my match. And then, again, you save your project. Save that project. So that is how the UI is made. And often that that's really all you need for UI. You could go ahead and do stuff with Photoshop. You could make all these elaborate sort of designs and add these to your experience. 
uh, to Im improve the experience. And I think that's the beauty of developing an app like this is that it's not just, you don't have to be a coder. You don't have to be an artist. You don't have to be a 3D modeler. You could be UX UI design. You could do all these different things that allows you to uh, still express yourself, but still within the confines of using AR and using tech and using art. And so it's this happy medium of all these within one package that uh, really is, is often difficult if you are in a particular area of tech. You know, this makes your, this makes your experience of creating more realistic and more interactive and more accessible. And, and that's really what I enjoy about it.